So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Dax Fridays. And you're probably wondering who we are. Well, I am the Formula Engine, and I am the Storage Engine. And together we make sure that you can run your DAX calculations in Power BI. So in today's video we're going to show you how we do it. So first of all, I am the Formula Engine. It means that I take care of all the queries that you send me. I make sure that I read them and I interpret them and I find a way to execute them, okay? I am single-threaded, which means that I can only do one thing at a time and that makes me a bit slow, but I'm very, very smart. I'm like, hmm. hey, I am smart too. What do you mean? Okay, I am multi-threaded. It means that I can do more than one thing at once and that makes me very, very, very fast. I also take care of all the data. I am Vodipak, you heard about it before. So I have taken care of the data, compress it, and analyze it, and fix it in a way that I can access it very, very quickly when that thing sends me some queries. I can do queries too. Hmm, you wanna see? Okay. How about we ask Ruth to send us a query? Ruth, send us a query. And that is 1,824. So what? That's not fair. I can do anything. I also want to show what I can do. What's about that? So here's the thing, I not only take care of the queries, but I can also manage small, simple queries, like some account, I don't need to go and ask that thing to do those. I can just grab the query, execute it, bring it back to you super fast without doing anything. He's a bit upset, isn't it? Okay, Ruth, send us another query where he actually has to do some job, that would be nice. Hmm, okay, so I guess this is the way we need to do it. I'm going to send it to the storage engine to see what they can do about it, okay? So I have done anything I can. I have read the query, I have interpreted, and there is only one way to execute it. So, hey storage engine, here's a query. I have no idea how to read that. I'm not able to solve any complex uh, query. So for the landing, I'm sorry, but you'll have to solve that for me. I'm going to send you the data, okay? So I will have to send it row by row because this is some mix. Be prepared. Okay, let's begin. Do you have any results for quantity 22 cells 358? No. Okay, do you have any result for quantity 11 sales 464? No. Do you have any result for quantity 13 and sales 651? No. Do you have a result for quantity 1 sales 24? 24! Okay. <laughs> oh. So as you can see, I have to call the formula engine to solve the query for me. I just send them the data and that makes it slower because the formula engine is slower than me, if you remember from the beginning. So there are three million rows in this data set. This is going to take us forever. Hmm, okay, Ruth, you have to improve that query. We're just bored out of our minds doing that, okay? So how about you do something else? Because going row by row and asking the formula engine for every row just because you use some X, no good. So formula engine, you are the smart one. What does she have to do to fix this mess? Aha, uh -huh, so I'm the smart one now, huh? Hmm? Okay, so what I need to do, or what you need to do, Ruth, is to actually make sure that the table is already filtered with the rows that are less than two when you give it to me, when I give it to the storage engine. So how about you change the tax measure so I can give the storage engine just the rows where 
the quantity is less than two. That will help everybody. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, are you ready, story changing? This is good. This is real good. Here it is. Can you give me the sum of sales? Done. 246. Do you see the difference? So this time, because I got the table already filtered and I didn't have to ask the formula engine every time, row by row, we could do this in milliseconds. That was good one, Ruth. We're proud of you. So now that you know how we work, hopefully you can make your DAX queries a little bit better for us, right? We don't work, so we don't want to work our asses off. So this is all for today, and Ruth will see you again on Wednesday. No, Monday, on Monday, on Monday. Bye. I also want to say bye. So nice to meet you all, and hopefully I'll see you again in a future video. And uh, we'll see you again on Monday. It was a pleasure. Bye.